Hello, this is Chuck for Teddy Bear Making Class and thank you so much for um, taking the class. I'm super excited there will be a lot of us and honestly I've never really did any Zoom class before so this will be a challenge but hey, you learn something new every day so that's good. And I do understand some of you guys are well used to making stuff and some people might have sewing machines but at least to me while I was learning and making my first teddy bear it was a little confusing like how to attach sole for the foot or why do we need three different parts for face like there's a face side one two and also top of the head and usually ear is attached um, almost like as like an afterthought but I changed the pattern so you actually attach it before you flip the bear so it will be have like little parts like that would show up so just giving you guys heads up and I highly recommend you guys to watch video that I provided and let's start from there and also if you can please do cut out all the patterns so we don't have to spend too much on cutting patterns out and uh, it should be self-explanatory um, once you download the pattern it says this is this part cut this many out so if it's in even number then um, try to for example um, if it says cut two of them out and you have fabric that you want to use that has outer layer and the like top and the bottom layer, you kind of fold them into half and then cut it out. So you'll have two, four, whatever the number is. That's that. And also I realized um, before I finally got my sewing machine that I kind of stole from my mom, I have made everything by hand and it takes a long time very longer time so if you don't have a machine you can definitely start working on like cutting out stuff and working on your teddy bear and then you can start the class with well while you are already there like start making it and then I can try my best to answer questions like you know just like I mentioned earlier in the video like how the head construction works or the legs. I mean, putting a sole on the feet to me was a little confusing and building face was the worst, at least when I started learning how to make those. And I'm kind of getting used to it now, but still, question's a question and it's all valid. And for the reason that some of us might not have sewing machine, I decided to show you how to, well, how I, what I used to do uh, hand sewing. So needle, thread, and for majority of construction, I'll just use a simple, oh man, I even forgot the name of this stitch, but um, all right, the one that I use, and don't use ballpoint pad to indicate this you should definitely use um like um kind of color pencil is okay regular pencil is okay if you feel fancy you can definitely definitely use um like chalk pencil and all that if you don't have it a ballpoint pencil works it just going to be um more difficult to get rid of but that's about it Oh, almost forgot too. Um, you can use your um, fabric wise. Um, cotton fabric is what I personally prefer. And any type of cotton is fine. Um, last year I had a project that I made teddy bears out of uh, kind of clothing items that people don't use anymore. So for example, this was from Lauren and I forgot to send it over back to her. Laura and I did not forget about that, but this was made with her t-shirt and her button-up shirt. 
So you can definitely use like um, clothes that has holes because you can't really recycle clothing items if it has a hole or a little damage. It will just go straight to trash can if you try to donate it to Goodwills or any of those you know second hand stores. So I would rather use that as a material for this project. And also, I honestly use um, when I run out of my stuffings and I don't have some broken cushions around. I actually use um, like little pieces of fabrics and just kind of stuff it in the bear. Of course, it has this kind of ups and downs. It's definitely has more weight, so it's good to hold them. Like has more body, but at the same time, it tends to get little wrinkles because it's not soft so the fabric will hold its shape inside of the bear so it might have like little things going on but hey it just gives them a character i mean whatever you need to do it you should do it okay intro is too long let me get to the chase so thread fabric little knot at the end, I know um, people usually go like, oh, no, what's going on? Ah, okay, people usually do like, you wrap it around your needle and pull it real fast and then you'll have the knot at the end. But I can't do it, so I just kind of pinch it a little, make a little loop-de-loop, -loop, and the pinched part go through the loop and pull it, pull, then it turns into this knot. So I know it's, yeah, it's not as sophisticated as other methods, but that's what works for me at least. And for majority of bodies, I would actually use this method. So, oh, hmm. Okay, this is lighter. So here's a line that indicates where I will go. I put in my needle and needle comes out, pull, 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 pull. The needle goes back to the hole and then push out the needle the same or similar length to the front of the first time when needle came out. Pull it, ta-da! Needle goes back to the hole again. And also go back. Yeah. And push a little bit in front of the last one that you actually pull out. Go like this. Okay. Yeah. So you can, this is one of the strongest. Ugh, hand sewing technique you can do so well cleaner the line better it looks when you flip but clearly i haven't done this for a while thanks to sewing machine now it's gonna look a little messy but no worries it's gonna be your first work no one's gonna judge you well not too harshly i hope <laughs> so there you go so this is what i do again go back a little bit in front of where the, the thread is, pull it, and then needle goes back in to where the thread came out, in front of where this is. So just go around and do this. Oh, ooh, clearly I'm camera shy, or I'm terrible at this. And the back side, you will see the stack of fabric, and also when you attach um, different body parts to the bear, you can go ladder stitch. So ladder stitch is kind of like, okay. Going like this, okay. So starting it's same. You make a knot and you put your needle in and have little digits and just pull out. So I'll start from here. Imagine back of this is one of the knot and then go to the other side. Yeah, 
as you can see, put your needle in, pull it out, yeah, pull, 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 pull. So I know the name for this one. I forgot the name for the first one that you do around the thing, but I know this one's name, this ladder stitch. And then you go back to the first part of the fabric like this, make a little boop, come out, then go back to the second part. So it's just connecting two different parts and where they actually are put together, you'll see only these little, little things sticking out. So that's how I usually put head or body and the other parts together. So going bulk, a little bit come out, pull, go back to the other part of the fabric where this in this case, it would be like head and back to body. So put them together this way. So. And you may have to pull real good to make it stable, but hey. Okay, these are all featured in um, video. Well, not the first part, but then how to attach body parts together should be on the video, but I still wanted to show you what's the uh, basic of it. And I did not realize this video is whooping 12 minutes long. Oh my God. Hopefully you guys can um, <laughs> uh, watch this video without getting too bored. And yes, let's start it. Yay, Saturday. So if you guys still have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be here. And yeah, I'm super excited. Don't forget your fabric. It just needs about, eh, I think like if it's 44 inches long, then it only needs like a half a yard for that. If it's a shirt that you're using, medium sized shirt, you might just use like one shirt to turn into a teddy bear. And if you have fabric that's like practice fabric, like um, muslin and all that, feel free to use those because you will have your pattern and you'll have fun making it and practicing it. So have a good day, everyone. And please, 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 if you have any questions, feel free to ask, comment on here. Thank you.